A fire broke out for an unknown reason in the chemical warehouse section of the yacht production factory located on the Bersiolova Highway. Due to the fire in which the factory workers were evacuated, many firefighters and provincial disaster and emergency directorate teams were dispatched to the scene. The fire was fought with 20 fire trucks from the Bursa Metropolitan Municipality Fire Department, for construction machines from the Orhangazi Municipality and 75 personnel. The fire, which broke out in the warehouse where chemicals were located, was brought under control after four hours with the work of the teams. Cooling efforts in the area are ongoing. Teams continue to extinguish and cool the fire in the warehouse. In Bangladesh's Jessore, at least eight people were burned to death and 84 others were injured after unidentified arsonists set fire to a residential hotel. Shaheen Chakladar, General Secretary of Jashore District Awami League, owned the hotel targeted by arsonists. Deputy Commissioner Abrerul Islam confirmed the news of the arson attack. In Kulna, three people, including Koira Upjila Paris head chairman and Upjila Awami League president GM Mohsen Reza, were beaten to death by a mob. The other two deceased were identified as Reza's driver, Alamgir, and his personal assistant, Mafazal Islam. In Barisal, three people were burned to death after agitators set fire to former mayor and city AL president Cerniabat Sadiq Abdullah. The previous day, the country reported at least 96 deaths in police firings due to clashes between Awami League members and protesters. At least 18 people were killed in Savar and Damrai areas, on the outskirts of the capital, after clashes broke out between police and miscreants. Thousands of Bangladeshi protesters defied curfew and stormed the Prime Minister's palace in capital Dhaka after reports surfaced that Sheikh Hasina has resigned and left the country. Jubilant-looking crowds waved flags on the streets of Dhaka, before hundreds broke through the gates of Sheikh Hasina's official residence. The crowd also vandalized Hasina's father and former Bangladesh President Sheikh Mujibur Rahman statue in Dhaka. The scenes are reminiscent of Saddam Hussein's statue being taken down in Iraq in 2003. Some personal cars of ministers abandoned in the area were also being damaged by the crowd, while other people were climbing on top of armored vehicles. The army troops on the streets seem relieved by Hasina's departure. Sheikh Hasina resigned and left the country after weeks of anti-government violence that left more than 300 people dead. Demonstrators reportedly broken into and damaged the residence of Home Minister Asad Azaman Khan in the Danmandi area of the capital. Across the city, the report said, at the Prime Minister's official residence, people had been seen taking furniture from Sheikh Hasina's office. <laughs> 